To shade an inequality, I start by graphing the line. In this example, x plus y is less than 7 is the inequality I'm working with. To make my table of values, I pretend the symbol less than is an equals, and I proceed to build the table of values the same way I would if I was graphing a straight line equality. Because that is the subject of other videos, I will use a shortcut. These points would satisfy that equation. Now it's time for me to put my line on the graph. I'm going to use a dotted line because the symbol is less than and not less than or equal to, and therefore the points on the line are not part of the solution set. Next I have to do a test point. Because the line does not go through the point 0, 0, I use 0, 0 as my test point because plugging zeros into the inequality is easier than plugging in other numbers and it simplifies faster. If I replace both x and y with zeros, I end up with the statement 0 less than 7, which is true. Since true means towards, I shade from my line towards my test point, and that means I am shading this region. This is how you shade an inequality. Let's take a look at another example. In this case, the inequality is x greater than or equal to 2y. Again, I will use a shortcut to fill in my table of values, and these points would satisfy the equation. Now I put my line on the graph going through those three points. Next, I have to do a test point, but this time my line goes through the point 0, 0, so I cannot use 0, 0 as my test point. I have to use a point that is not on the line, and I choose to test the point 10, 10. If I test 10, 10, I am plugging 10 and 10 into both the x and the y position. I then get an inequality that simplifies to 10 greater than or equal to 20, which is false. Since true means towards, that means false means away. In this case, I am shading from my line away from my test point, and that means shading this region here. This is how we shade an inequality.